Okay, the basic reason uh, to be very precise is that that uh, I came to a point where I felt that uh, I should now, uh, you know, op uh, open myself to a d different soundscape. I mean, I'm a completely old school guy, but that doesn't stop me from listening to the new school bands or the new school stuffs and all. And we have ADG with us, also the team, Abhishek Dasgupta project. So let's have a one-on-one -on -one with the band. Let's go. Hey guys. Hello. Yes. So I welcome you all. This is Abhishek Dasgupta project, and we have some questions for them. So let's see. Okay, I'd like to ask you guys. What made you attracted towards music and specially towards this genre? The mic is all yours. Say, say. I think so. We all are very much connected to heavy metal music. We all are somewhere connected to metal music. We all have different influences in our life, but definitely heavy metal plays an important part in our life. So that's the reason we are together and we have huge plans for the future and we are getting started. So that's it. Also, Kyogi Kichu Bolbe. Yeah, actually, we started with uh, metal music and everything, you know, when actually we are the 90s guy, me and Avishek, especially. So, we started music, the heavy metal uh, you know, came to our mind, and it, it was so attracted. It was so heavy that when we were freely playing the instrument, it was feel like that uh, we, are, we can connect to the generation, we'll move. Machkhan and Shomai was, you know, suppressed. Music to so I think this is a revolution we can continue okay. and uh, thanks to uh, IA and uh, Children of Rock, it's everyone. You guys have done a fantastic job. Okay, what statement or story is being presented through your end by this sound? Or why is this name given to your band? Both the questions are together like, there is no all questions. Okay, the basic reason uh, to be very precise is that, that uh, I came to a point where I felt that uh, I should now uh, you know, op uh, open myself to a different soundscape. I mean, I'm a completely old school guy, but that doesn't stop me from listening to the new school bands or the new school stuffs and all. So I thought that uh, I need to come out with something different. I have been doing music for quite a long time and people know it. Maybe few know it, but re I really appreciate it for the few. And oh, thereafter, I, I started <laughs> <laughs> you need to also do some advertisement for yourself. So that's how I thought of coming with a project. I called up all my brothers and it happened overnight. Like, let's make it and I have my brother with me. We are together for the last three years and for the next 40, 50 years we'll be together. We all will be together. We are all connected by one community. That's metal. All right then. Okay, so you gave the answer, but still, what are the upcoming projects and future plans? More or less? Future plans, we don't know actually, we started. Let's see what we can continue with. Like an overnight express kind of thing. Yeah, actually we started with heavy metal because heavy metal is connected to many uh, cultures and uh, emotions and different kind of genres so we we'll definitely try, try something new but heavy will be heavier that's i all can right. believe all right looking but forward yeah, to that we are looking forward to launch an album but definitely we'll start off with a single um, i guess you guys can hope for a single until like the 2022 first and like in january we are hoping i guess we will and the we number will. of we tracks will. just a hint maybe it depends on the mood. Like obviously, if we are launching an album, then obviously eight tracks you can calculate definitely. If we if we are like in a good mood, then if we can make ten, then we we'll launch ten also. <laughs> depends right, on the band. We are up for a ride then with ADG. We are always in a good mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now some serious questions to be very precise. What are pros and cons according to you that has impacted the music industry before and after the introduction of digital platform? I think this is a very political question and very serious one. Uh, what are the pros and cons? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think so, uh, speaking about the cons, we all know that uh, the music industry have been going through a real tough time, especially all the independent artists, because uh, I, you know that uh, in a country where uh, I cannot use any bad word, but I should have used, I mean in a country that's dominated by Bollywood, or whatever be so that impact has messed up a lot many things many good artists have forgotten many good artists have gone out of their roots because they thought that it's the end because we have no other options left with us 
but uh, as we all hope for a better tomorrow and we are all connected here because we all love independent music and originals are always a priority of a band no matter how good cover artist you are you won't ever be credited right so so we think so that entire digital marketing has quite good pros but uh, i'll always prefer the physical sales that used to happen back in the 80s the physical copies the cassettes i wish uh, we could have all traveled back in time in 85 or 86 then things would have been better but things are getting better and we are hoping for a better future so basically you are saying all those pamphlet things that the guys used to do throwing the pamphlets inside the house and then people are coming for the live not something live on facebook but very much physical live okay cool okay so careers of all these musicians like we all are musicians here before and after the pandemic there has been a very very bad or very negative shift towards the balance so what do you think how can we overcome it or how should we see it or how adg is like looking into that thing i think this is the today is a day that we started you guys or we are all doing it together so this is a way this is the hope that we can start and continue doing this not only that we just uh, started this event and then we just uh, getting back again so no, we we have to continue the same thing the process should be you know continue that i want to say krishanu had something to say i guess for me this pandemic thing has a lot of negative side for musicians actually for for live platform only but there's a positive side that we can all like focus on that side i think now right now we have a lot of time to make new compositions think about new arrangements we can launch we can think about new different sounds like jeta actually onno samay show er jonno kora hoy ota mane prochondo pressure thake shobai eta tour ba one kichu thake onno samay to scene ta active hi thake generally to ekhon ei pandemic er jonno je break gulo pawa jacche shetar jonno ami definitely prochur kaj dekhte pachi prochur notun band jara local scene er amader tara shobai notun notun gaan launch koreche tara shobar oshi ber hocche tara prochondo bhalo kaj korche pandemic er ei ekta positive side jeta dekha geche studio work ta onek beshi bhalo bhabe kora geche band er যে ব্যান্ডটা হয়তো ভাবছিল ইপিটা এক বছর পরে লঞ্চ করবে তারা সেটা এই বছরে লঞ্চ করে ফেলেছে স্টুডিও সেশনের ওয়ার্কটা অনেক প্রোগ্রেস হয়েছে সেটা মানে অবভিয়াসলি কারণ মিউজিকটা তো মেজার মোটো তো কাজটা এক্স্যাক্টলি এক্স্যাক্টলি সেই পয়েন্টটা আমার মনে হয় এটা একটা প্যান্ডেমিকের এই কাজটাই সবাই করেছেন এটা পজিটিভ সাইড ডেফিনেটলি এটা একটা এতনিক I think there is another pro and the biggest pros of uh, the covid situation was that we are not taking gigs for granted anymore because aage ekta time chilo when people used to hey ei gig ta jabo na thik pore to abar ekta hocche we are going we, we are getting gigs but now after covid not just gigs in terms of anything traveling or anything our life has come to a standstill it was in a standstill for a very long time so i think uh, and obviously the organizations like ia thank you so much for coming up to the forefront and it happened after covid right so i think gigs have become much more much more dynamic with the with the so called post covid world hopefully hopefully this is the post covid world so i'm speaking with optimism <laughs> okay 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 so the last question would be what is the current position of independent music in india and your view to more marks i know you guys have answered this you have tackled this question a lot of times in your professional career but still for the I mean we are not here for fame we are not here for money we are not here for anything else but we are here to give good music to all of you out here we are here for our music and that's our basic necessity and i think so by the time things will get better and we will be able to make things better it's for i as i say always that we all are the scene we make the scene and this iaa reminds me of 80s straight back to 80s baby yeah yeah so guys that's what it feels like